Hi friends, this is Dipti. Welcome to Life Admin 365 and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm sharing with you a mini bulk meal prep that I did on Friday. Because of some unforeseen circumstances popping up, I got prepping on a Thursday instead of my typical Saturday or Sunday prep. Since it was weekday, I only had about an hour of free time to finish everything if I wanted to get in bed on time and to wake up on time for next day's work. My plan was to do all the prep work on Thursday night after dinner so that as soon as I came home from work on Friday, I could do my meal prep. Part of the meals prepped were for my family and part of them were for sharing with my friend's family. So let's see how I executed my meal prep. First, I rinsed and soaked one and a half cups of whole brown lentils in three cups of water. While they were soaking, I put fully soaked black eye peas for pressure cooking. These are the same fully soaked black eye peas remaining from my last week's meal prep. Last week, I cooked only a smaller portion of these and had a larger portion of them sitting in my refrigerator. So these fully soaked black eye peas came in handy. Rinse them a couple of times under water and they were good to go. While these were pressure cooking for three whistles, I started preparing green beans. Chopped off their tops and bottoms and then grouped them in small piles and cut them in bite-sized pieces. I will wash them tomorrow just before preparing sabzi. By this time, black eye peas were cooked but I was waiting for pressure to be naturally released. So I started prepping cabbage. Oh my god, cabbage takes the longest to prep. It feels like forever, especially since I like them to be in shred-like form and not square-like forms. I prepped a small head of green and red cabbage. Checked on cooling pressure cooker, removed cooked black eye peas from the cooker and placed in soaked brown lentils for pressure cooking. These don't need to be pressure cooked. They cook well on stove top but I was trying to hasten the process so chose to pressure cook instead. It was only 30 minutes that they had been soaking so I thought it was safe to pressure cook only for one whistle which will not make them mushy. While they were cooking, I finished prepping green chilies and chopped two large yellow onions. When all was said and done, I had pressure cooked brown lentils or whole masoor and black eye peas or tsauri, one pound of chopped green beans, finely chopped green and red cabbage and finely chopped two large onions along with picked cilantro leaves, cilantro stems and green chilies. It took me a few minutes over an hour from start to finish. That is from prepping to cleaning the kitchen counters and floor and putting away prepped items in the refrigerator. It's Friday evening and I am back from work. I have about an hour and a half to finish my meal prep, pack food in containers, bring it to my friend's home and take my son for his music practice. Since I had limited amount of time, I decided to leverage three of the burners and start prepping three things at the same time. Placed appropriate sized pots and pans on the burner and started by making tadka for each preparation. On the front, I have medium sized pan that I will use for making green beans besan bhaji. Behind is the pot for making masoor amti. And in the front, but the other side is the large pan for making cabbage bhaji. Turned on heat to medium high for each of the pans and when they started heating up, added oil to each of these vessels. To the medium pan added about 3 tablespoons of oil, pot had about 2 tablespoons of oil and large pan had about 3 tablespoons of oil. When oil was hot enough, added about 1 to 1 and a half teaspoons of mustard seeds to each of these pans. Mustard seeds started cracking up first in the pans as they were on higher heat than the pot. So these were the ones to get cumin seeds first. Added about 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. Then lowered heat to medium low and added hink to each of these pans. By this time, mustard seeds in pot also started cracking. Went ahead and added about 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds followed by one large bay leaf half a teaspoon turmeric and few dashes of red chilli powder. Then added half a teaspoon of turmeric to each of the pans and stirred tadka in each of the pots and pans. Then added finely chopped green chilies and cilantro stem and gave everything a good stir. I am falling behind my preparation so from this point onward I will share only few in between glimpses of the preparation. I have already shared each of these recipes in my earlier meal preps. I will share those links in the description box below and in the card above. Increased heat to medium and to the frontmost medium sized pan added 
washed and drained green beans. Give everything a good stir to ensure proper mixing of the flavors. Covered and cooked for about 3 to 4 minutes with intermittent stirring. Seasoned with salt and pepper per taste. To the pot right behind it, added about 3 4 cups of chopped yellow onions and sorted them for a minute or till they started softening up. Then added 3 4 cups of crushed tomatoes, crushed garlic and mixed everything well. And to the large pan in the front, added curry leaves and prepped cabbage. Seasoned with salt and very little sugar, which is optional. Give everything a thorough mix and ensure that nothing was sticking to the pan bottom and messing up the preparation. Covered and cooked for about 3-4 to four minutes with intermittent stirring in between. At the last minute, I decided to add 1 cup of chopped onions to the green beans paste and bhaji just to increase its bulk by a little bit. I cooked them until they softened up. Masala for masoor amti is ready and all that needs to go in are 2 cups of pressure cooked whole masoor, water, garam masala and salt. And looks like cabbage bhaji is almost ready. All it needs is full minutes of covered cooking. Going back to the beans. When beans were almost cooked, sprinkled in about 3 4 cups of besan or chickpea flour, half a teaspoon of ajwain seeds that are activated by rubbing them in between my palms, mixed everything thoroughly and covered and cooked for another 2 minutes. I kept a close eye on each of the preparation to ensure that everything was proceeding as planned and there was no burnings or spillings or undercooking issues. Turned off heat as and when each of the preparations were appropriately cooked. Lastly, garnished each of the preparation with finely topped cilantro and gave each one of them one final mix. I was about 35 minutes into preparation and so far I had prepped green beans besan bhaji, masoor or brown lentils amti and cabbage bhaji. I still had to prepare saori usar but before doing that I transferred food to take out containers so that it could start coming to room temperature and I could put lids on them quickly. In a medium pot placed on medium heat, prepared tarka of 1 teaspoon each mustard and cumin seeds. When seeds started cracking, turned down heat and added 1 8 teaspoon of hink, half a teaspoon turmeric, followed by 4 finely topped green chilies, 1 tablespoon crushed garlic and 1 and a half cups of chopped yellow onions. Sauteed the onions until they started softening. Then added in 2 tablespoons of tomato paste and gave everything a good mix. Once thoroughly combined, added in 3 and a half cups of pressure cooked black eye peas and 2 cups of water, goda masala, salt and jaggery per taste. Thoroughly mixed and brought it to a gentle simmer. Lastly, garnished it with chopped cilantro and it was ready as well. Now I had tawli usal ready to go. I had hoped to finish this mini bulk meal prep in about an hour and I was not that much far off the mark. I took an hour and 15 minutes to finish it but the extra time did include a lot of clean up, putting away utensils in the dishwasher, cleaning my sink, my countertops and the kitchen floor. However, I was running late and in my rush, I forgot to bring Saori Usal for my friend. Oh well, it is what it is. Will share it with them the next time I make it. So now I have cabbage bhaji, two servings, green beans besan bhaji, one and a half serving, masoor or brown lentil usar, three and a half servings, and savuri usar, five servings. Sharing with love what you can without expecting anything in return is one of the best things that we can do for each other. This reminds me of the critical time when a bunch of us from our town's Indian community came together to prepare food for our town's frontline medical community during the first wave of COVID. With that said, this food will be gone within a couple days. Two hungry teenagers will chow it down rather sooner than later and that's what a mom always wants. Food to be in the kids' bellies and not wasted. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Do give this video a big thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Your likes, subscription and comments help with the YouTube algorithm and help me grow my channel. See you all in the next one.